Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. Nice. Always up for obstacle courses. Ooh, and it continues on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it continues. Wow, I love it. Okay, hold on, let me bring this up here. That's the full, full complexity there. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, let me look at this in detail. I don't think there's anything. Every now and then there's something in terms of just timing. That feels nice. A nice looseness there. I'm gonna look at all the little details. I like the springiness in this. And then the ball. A picky thing I would say if you're going out this way you know from here to here I wonder if your trajectory and the arc is suddenly flattened too soon this is very rough thing here uh, I guess not huh yeah it felt like it would go higher it feels like it flattens too soon but maybe not maybe that's just me i don't know but i keep watching this i feel like the speed and the bow to go out like this is such a straight path from here to here and then suddenly the spacing gets small then it goes to the right i don't know there's something where i'd be super picky or go kind of check that again Rest is cool, drops into this. This is really steep. I don't mind it here, but this almost has a feel of, this would almost go a bit of a bounce off. I would probably, if I be super picky, round that out a bit more. Because this is such a change again from here to here to suddenly here that it would almost be something like that, you know? I am being extremely picky just because it is also awesome. But timing is great on the drop and then the hit there. That feels pretty good. I'd be super picky. Something about that arc that feels a bit like that. So if you're here, it goes up. And then drops there. Again, I'm being super picky, but it's almost like you want to round that out a bit more. Just a bit more like that. Now, when it goes up, let me see. This feels a bit strong for such a straight path down. And at that speed, if you look at uh, pool table physics, it would be this. Maybe a bit less because it loses some steam there. So for that ball then to go this far, that's the only thing. You can have something that kind of, maybe that surface is rounded or something and cheated. But at that drop, it would it would bounce off less. Again, being super picky. I love this. The water aspect there. I think that's pretty good in terms of how long it's on the water. And yeah, that's cool. I think that works too. I guess it already pushes it off. So there's a gap. Yeah. Something it's almost like. That'd be super picky. I would try a version. I dare say that. Where this thing is only this far out. And then the next one. A bit higher with the ball on it. And even this one, I would bring that here and then the ball can be off and then it slows down. There's something slow about that stick coming out. I don't feel that that pop that would push this this far up in the sky. I would almost I would love to see this pop more into place and have more of like a so that I, I believe that connection so that the ball gets this high. Again, I'm being extremely picky. I 
I think that's okay. I'll probably add another frame in here. There's something. If we are here, here, here. See that? We're at, we're higher than the drop. This is going to lose some energy. I will bring that ball here below that one. And then here. And then whatever we have onto into that drop there. Just a bit. Feels a bit too strong of a pop there. And even this on the drop. Same thing here. We're going into this. It feels a bit strong. I go a bit less. And then it can just kind of drop to here. You could still have that. It might not hit fully there. Yeah, there's, there's a general feel of right through there having too much energy. I would buy this if this was a pinball machine. And you would have those spring-loaded... How it shoots up. Especially here after all of these. It would lose a lot more energy. So for this to land, I'm playing it backwards, by the way. So here, loses already energy, loses energy. And I know it, here, especially loses energy. It's not being pushed down. It just, it just, there's friction. So for this to come down and after all of this, to go this and this far, not quite buying it. All of these, they feel more like pinball where it, it, it's getting an additional push to go all the way there. Other than that, it all feels great. I love how these are rotating up. Yeah, it's kind of neat. This would be cool if... Almost like you have little fans coming out as well. This is a balloon. I was expecting this to go... But just being slower. This goes... It goes up really fast. Again, being super picky. Just because of all physics and stuff. It would be kind of funny if you bring out two propellers here or something. And then kind of blows it out. I love this idea though. And then this, I mean, again, super picky. If that's the hole here, for this, if this loses the air here, I would go this way in terms of the stretch. And then kind of watch out how you turn this around to make this a bit more of a... That's the hole and that's the thing. So even if you go like this, and it goes down here. The hole would be here. You know what I mean? Like it's the it's it's like a little jet engine that turns it around. So be careful with the, those beginning rotations. I'm not quite buying that either. There. And that's cool. And again, totally subjective. It could also be fun to do. Goes in here. Boom. So instead of on the surface, because you already have it fairly low here, it can go. And then exits. And then you end on nothing. I don't know. Subjective thing. It's almost like the sadness of this gets accentuated by the drowning and going off screen. <laughs> anyway, it's generally super cool. I love it. I love all the complexities in there. Being super picky just because why not? You're paying me and I'm not going to go like, yeah, that's great. And leave it. Just You can always filter those notes. I'll give you my honest opinions. And that is that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.